All right, guys, before we get started, I got to give a disclaimer. Uh, this channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purposes only. Now, with that out of the way, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install Gen Plus GX Cover mod on the Nintendo Wii. This is also going to work for the Wii U on the VWii side. Um... So I'm going to be leaving you a folder with all the files that you're going to need. So just go over to my page, which will also be in the pinned comment. Scroll down the page until you find the wallpaper to this video. Go under the download link. It's going to be a zip folder. You're going to have to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. So this is all the contents of the folder. So I'm going to go through all the folders. So first you're going to have the apps folder. You're going to have Gen Plus GX mod. And then Wii Mod Lite to, to install the channel. You're going to have a Gen Plus folder. Uh, this is you, where you're going to have to put your BIOS. ROMs and snaps so as for the ROMs I created individual folders for all the systems that are supported uh, today I'm just going to be focusing on the Mega Drive so MD this is where you put your games as for the snaps for the cover art goes under the snaps folder under the same folder, so MD for Mega Drive. So here's my uh, cover art for the game. You got to make sure that they're renamed the same as the uh, ROM itself and the uh, file size. Um, I'm going to be providing this one as an example. This is going to be 2D box art, but you can also use the 3D. Uh, there's going to be a watt channel uh, for the VWii. This is if you want to install it on the Wii U. So make sure you install the right one. And then under the WADS folder, this is going to be the one for the Wii. So install this one using Wii Mod Lite. Uh, so that's basically it for the setup of the SD card. Now we're going to get on the Wii. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install the channel and um, a little bit of the emulator. All right, now over on the Wii. So first, we're going to install the channel for the emulator. Um, I'm going to be using Wii Mod Lite, but you can use any other uh, WAD manager that you like. So let's start it up. Uh, go down to the WAD manager, press A, press A on the Wii ST slot, go down to your WADs folder, there's the Gen Plus GX WAD, press A, press A again to install, this shouldn't take too long, there you go, press any key to continue, uh, press B, um, if you're installing this on the VWii, on the Wii U, just go over to the watch channel for the VW and it'll be on, on, on this folder. Now press home. Now you should have the Gen Plus GX uh, channel. So here it is. A pretty cool channel. A little different. Let's start it up. Start up the emulator. Press A. So 
So this is the uh, main menu of the emulator. Um, some of these games are going to uh, need to use uh, more buttons on your controller. So you can either configure your Wii Remote or you can use the uh, Wii Classic controller right there. You can use a GameCube controller or you can use the um, Wii's Pro controller. It's up to you. So now first you can go to options. Uh, you can change any systems in here. Uh, controllers, system, uh, video settings. So just go through it. Go to menu. You can apply cheats. Uh, where you're going to load your ROMs from. So you can have it as uh, USB as well. So just go through the settings and change whatever you like. Um, now go back. We're going to load a game. So uh, this emulator is going to allow you to play Mega Drive, uh, Sega CD, Master System, Sega Game Gear, and SG-1000. Um, these are all going to start up exactly the same. So for today, I'm only going to focus on the Mega Drive, which is uh, Sega Genesis in North America. So to load a game, just press A on Mega Drive. Uh, find your ROMs folder. So mine is under MD. So this is all the games I got with uh, cover art. So with your D-pad, uh, just go up and down and scroll for whatever game you want to play. So there's the uh, box art for every game. Uh, you can also uh, use the 3D box art if you want. So there you go. It just looks pretty cool. I'm just going to start up a game quickly. So uh, we'll do Sonic the Hedgehog 2. There you go. And they all start right up. So I'll press home. Um, so if you save your game, you can go to load and save. Uh, there's also cheats that you can apply to this emulator. If you want to exit the emulator, just go to exit. Exit the system menu. And it'll take you back to the main menu. So that's basically how you install Gen Plus GX. The um, cover mod. I will leave all the links you're going to need in the pinned comment. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.